I'm not going to spin the camera around, though. Oh. This place is a wreck. Shh, don't tell the people our secrets. <laughs> I, have, I have focused all of my energy on the kitchen. And it is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So what are we talking about today? Um, how um, functional our kitchen is. Yeah. Functional. Yeah. We got a big rig, but yeah. not a huge kitchen. I think, bitty, bitty I kitchen think space. the kitchen in the 312 was oh 100 uh, percent better. better yeah yeah maybe like 75 percent better yeah. so this is like brand spanking yeah. new like we installed it two days ago we i watched from the couch as <laughs> brian and ben did yeah, it not it was, not little ben it was like a lot. like ben with the big rig yeah so we're going to talk about that today uh we're going to talk about this beautiful set of pans that we got that stack so well yes they do and uh the, the handles come off that, that's the main main thing, thing that attracted me to them is that the handles come off and that they stack so they don't take up a lot of space so we're going to talk about have. those yeah and but we're going to show you what's yeah. what's where and yeah and, and where where our pantry is yeah show them the pantry let's just start there where's the pantry i mean it's it's here and here and here and over there and over there yeah. and yeah. but a lot of it's, it's in here yeah it's it's everywhere yeah a lot of it's here this is more the stuff that we don't want the littles to get into like yeah. or have free access to because yeah. they would just eat it all and that might not be the best idea yep. um so there's stuff up here stuff we use a lot too yep. like you know salt and pepper and, and the soap your like the hand soap up there and, yeah, yeah yeah all so the stuff, stuff up for there. this kitchen or the sink area yep. so there's there's more stuff over here are we coming over here or are we um, not coming over here i mean there's so, stuff here so there's stuff in here these kind of pull out and then there's there. stuff up there and, and that's all of that mess that i'm going to show right that's it that's all the mess that's over there <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the big pantry's up there, yep. and then so, obviously the residential fridge. So down here, with, by the dog food, we've yep. got uh, where the, the uh, toaster lives, and then under the sink, yeah. that is the, uh, the main reason we Ooh. have these from today's sponsor. Yeah, um, it's um. That's our pan storage. Like right. that's all we have. And so, when with the pan storage, like we have to get certain pans because it's an induction cooktop, and yes. so we can't just go and pick up any old pan. Can we show one other thing first before I get to here? Because yeah. squirrel. Yeah. Um, sometimes when we show this, people think that this is the size of our sink. <laughs> Um, Don't open this, the left side. This is not the size of our sink. No, those are just covers. They're just covers. Yeah. So. The sink is in there, and there's a bigger sink on the other side. But there's there are dirty dishes, dishes in, in there. there because the dishwasher has been run and is drying. Yes. So these are covers also. We have two sides. Yep. It's uh, quite large. Yeah. It, it has two big burners like that. I'm not going to take that one off all okay. the way. But yeah, two it's big burners. Individual controls heats up super fast and it cools down. The heat fast. is just here. The heat is actually it's induction, so the heat is being put directly into the pan. So this doesn't really heat up that much. Mm -hmm. uh, Which and is it very nice. Yeah. So the main thing against um, like a propane. Yeah, like one. propane. You have all of that flame coming out of the sides, and all that heat is coming out into your rig. Yeah. This is way cooler to uh, cook with. There's another good thing about these new ones that we've got because they work on the induction. So yes. that's kind of where we're that going was a with requirement. the induction. So these are, <laughs> they have to go that way. So let's talk about these. These okay. are full stainless from uh, this company. I'm not sure how to like actually say it. Roid X, R O Y D X. Uh, there'll be links to all of this in our uh, description because uh, they are sponsoring this video. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want you to just start taking that apart because I already played with this. Oh, okay. I, I did an unboxing that they're seeing right now so you can see all the pieces come out. So I want you I to start. I'm not here for that. I want you to start taking that apart to see what all this stuff is. Okay, so first thing. Oh, the these... removable handles, yep. Oh, okay. So they like go on. Okay, so they can go on wherever yep. you want them to yep. go on. Okay, mm -hmm. I got gotcha. you. Fantastic. So lids are. Sturdy lids, but like rubbery. Yeah, so they're, they're glass with like a silicone. Uh, it's very bendy here. Okay. Um, and then this little thing. I was really confused by this. That's where the handle goes. Oh, alrighty. This is my favorite size of a pan right here because I like to make soup. <laughs> I think <laughs> like that's the little one soup and a for half, me. One and a half quart. And so that just it's lovely. Yeah. And then the little lid goes on. Yep. And then you said this is where a handle would go. That's where the handle goes. Yeah. So to do the handle, you have to. So this is the locked position. Right. So it's squeezed closed all the way. Let me get a good angle here. Uh, so to unlock it, you just go like that. And because it's a safety feature, you have to squeeze both oh, sides. Oh. Now it's open. That's all why the way. I was wondering what the press was. Yeah. And then this just goes on. Yep. And then locks on. Yeah. It's a little bit of an angle. You have to hook it all the way on. Oh, there we go. There you go. Okay. Yep. Alrighty, that's not bad at all. Yeah. And I love this size. 
Yeah. To just like heat up a bowl of soup or yep. something. Yep. And, it and did with, it come with all these? Yep, it came with the pot separators. And that's wonderful. Keeps them from scraping on each other. Not that big of a deal in a house, but when your house drives down the road and everything yes. goes like this, <laughs> ah. yeah, uh, those will definitely keep things from scraping. That's great. Yeah. This is another good size, just to that's two like, quart. yeah, yep. just make with the kids, um, like to heat up food for the kids. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is not a pot. Yep. So that is a steamer. Okay. And it does have these storage lids. I'll get to those in a second, so go ahead and set that aside. Okay. Uh, just so people know, this is not part of that. This is part of the new uh, convection microwave. Yes. Sorry. Oh, okay. I see. These store underneath, and yep. then that would go on here. Got it. Yep. So that was that lid. Alrighty. And All then right. these, this is the same as that. Yep. So and that's like this a is the biggest, wall. like, saute pan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this is the, the big skillet. It's like a skillet, yep. Okay. How All big is angles. this? Is this 12 or is um, this 10? I think the bottom is 9 inch. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we'll put it up there. Yeah. So you know what the size is. So, uh, let's do this one real quick. Okay. These are storage lids. So if you oh. cook something in here and you don't eat all of it, it's like a silicone, or yeah, I think it's silicone or plastic, and it just presses in, and you can squeeze all the air out. Oh, that's clever. And yeah. now... My two hands. Yeah. Oh. That's nice, and then, and then they can stack the on top too, like right. if you and have you more than one. Up, yep. And you can uh, put the pot straight in the fridge, and then pull Ooh. it back out and reheat it the next day. That makes a lovely sound. Yeah. Alrighty, now that's nice. That just goes in and comes right back out. Yep. So like I said Fantastic. earlier, I had already cooked ramen for Ben. Which size did you use, the little one the or little the big one? one? Okay. Yeah, the tiny one. And it did do the water spot thing, which is one thing I, I don't like about stainless. Like it, it gets water spots and like food can stick and burn. Like I need to get used to using it. Right. But I did a, a quick look at the instructions that they sent us mm -hmm. and just a little bit of vinegar and the spots just disappear. Ooh, yeah. good thing to know. Yeah. That goes on there like that. Yeah, like I, I figured out there. the way to stack it. I will do the uh, quick version of the stacking right now, just okay. overlaid while Aaron kind of fumbles with this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Yeah, that's not how that goes. <laughs> mm. So they've already seen it by now. Okay. Yep. Nope. Nope. That, nope. Okay. Nope. There we go. Nope. And it's done. That's not how that goes. Woohoo! Show that thing again. <laughs> and then this just comes off like this. Squeeze. And squeeze. Yep. There it is. Okay. Yep. Well, so, and you shouldn't have to do that while you're cooking. No. Well, I mean, you can if you need the handle for another pot or another pan. Okay. But there's also something else. So this is a convection microwave oven. Right. Which means you can put metal you stuff in it. You can bake in it. It will. You can bake in it. So one thing you can do. Let me. Let me have you film me. Okay. Notice how we have uh, the Matching same shirt. I don't on. know why we have the same shirt on. So it's one thing. Clean. Let's say you were here like searing a steak on the uh, countertop. Like you do, not me. Yeah, so the way I do my steaks, I put lots of butter and uh, ribeye. Um, uh, you can sear the outside, and if you want to bake the middle to another temperature, or if you have something where you're searing on the outside and need to put it in the oven, there's a lot of recipes like that. With the removable handles, you can put it in there, take the handle off, Ooh. Yeah, because these handles do not go in the oven. Well, and they wouldn't have fit in there for us anyway. Yeah, but, but these are plastic and right. metal, so you're not going to want to put plastic in the oven. But you can do that, put that in the oven, and then when you need to get it back out, you can either use, you know, a normal uh, oven mitt, or you just snap it back on and take it back out. Yeah, cool. so really cool set. And for RV use, having it stack all the right. way together, yeah. So uh, let's talk cool. about where this stuff is going to live. Okay. I need to do a little bit of work down here before we can actually store it down here. Uh, but we, what we have right now is a uh, non-stick, deep-sided, really big skillet. Right. Because we cook for five. Like, yes. it's, we have a lot. And we also, we basically just have these. Right? And then the strainer. Um, and then also down here, Tara bakes a lot. So we have these little muffin tins that fit in the convection, or no, sorry, in the air fryer. Uh, we also have normal muffin tins that fit in the uh, convection microwave. So also down in there, I have um, another one of these. And the handles are really the problem. It, yes. Right, because if nothing had handles like that, mm -hmm. all of this could kind of be nested together. But because they have big handles, I can't like, right, like, it's, it's, yeah. That's that. And that lid, yeah. 
This is this is gonna turn into an infomercial where like I'm gonna open the cabinet and everything's, everything's gonna, gonna pour out on me. I got another little skillet. The tiny one. With a handle, so there we go. So that's basically the space I have for all of this with these handles. Let me show you guys. You know. <clears throat> it's it's like it's deep and it's tall, but it's yeah. not used properly. It's awkward. Yes. It's at this weird angle. Like my it, it, it's okay. Like it fits sheet pans and mm -hmm. like the racks for the oven and all that. All that stuff slides in here on the side nicely. A couple weeks after we bought this rig, we were at Ikea and I got these. You can no, tell that I have not installed them yet. We've had this rig for a year. Yeah. So maybe I'll install these because my, my thinking with these was to just install them like this just to keep Things the from falling stuff over, from falling yeah. over. Yeah, you just screw them straight down into the cabinet. We talked about things being in the dishwasher, but we do have a dishwasher. Yes. And, and, and its name is... Its name is not Brian. Even though Brian loads it. Yes. Because people it are particular. But it does the actual washing. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, having a dishwasher is lovely. Yes. That is not a thing that is super common in RVs, and I was very excited about right. that. It's the other one of these that came with this rig died, and yeah. it was just one of those crappy... RV brand like high, point. high high was it high point? high point with an e on the end they were trying to be fancy high mm -hmm. point high point d um it died and when it died we didn't care because the controls were terrible it didn't heat evenly things were burning in one corner and not in the other we had we were constantly rotating things around so we got to put in a an actual brand of appliance whirlpool and this mm -hmm. was on sale at best buy uh, for black friday so Yay. about half off which was lovely um so yeah big and huge pain in the butt to install so thank you ben who has helped with a lot of things he also helped with this um it basically went in like a residential install but we don't have the cabinet above to drill down through so there's this like l bracket rack on the top mm -hmm. that we had to move to this oven from the previous one that attaches to another l bracket on the top or on the ceiling of the slide so big big pain in the rear but totally possible. This is a full size residential appliance. It's it's great. It's working great. Yeah. I don't oh, know that we've we, actually uh, ever done a tour of the kitchen where this is open. Okay. So um, yeah, trying not to show the mess. So this is just normal drawer. So this is our junk drawer. So that's all you're gonna see it at. Yep. Uh, we keep uh, like foil sheets for the air fryer, the little pre-cut pop-up mm -hmm. foil sheets. I know they cost more, but they're very convenient. They are very convenient. Um, and then down here, we just have like plastic bags and trash bags. So that's these three drawers. They're very long and skinny and don't hold a lot. Right. But if we want more counter space, there's we, this magical button that. right here. Push that button and then a lot of counter space slides out. Yes. So this and it's is... pretty sturdy. It's pretty solid. I put, I put all sorts of stuff on here. When we do like pasta night, I'll make all the pasta and then of course everybody wants different some want different sauce, sauce some want parmesan some want just butter some want alfredo, alfredo sauce so this just kind of becomes a like you know the prepared food is here and it just becomes a come make your own freaking pasta station yeah. right or you so. know like a taco bar or any <laughs> other type of thing I yeah be. yeah but um just so another surface super convenient yeah it's um oh we didn't open this tiny kitchen this is a very look dishes mm -hmm. yeah oh and i don't know where to keep these yeah. i keep getting smaller ones there's just not a good spot i've thought about maybe like a command hook you know putting them back there yeah. or on that sidewall over there but everywhere yeah. is in the way yeah and they use sometimes they're in this drawer and then they get in the way of everything else and then yeah. so you move them up there and whoa hello <laughs> um yeah this yeah. is our kitchen that's a kitchen and it works yeah. for us but it um, it does have its challenges, and I'm looking forward to using these and them fitting in that space down there a lot better. So what is our uh, question of the week? What do we want people to comment on? Um, Let us know some more organizational stuff. I'm more interested in, like, uh, if you have a really good soup recipe that you oh. would like to add in there. Because yeah. I Forget love making Forget organization. Some soup. Let's talk food. It <laughs> yeah. is, it is, we're getting to wintertime. It is getting dark early. Yes. It is Thanksgiving next week. It is Christmas coming up after that. Yes. We need some recipes, y'all. Yeah. And and I love soups. And soups are, I can, can eat those. And I've been eating them since, since the earlier this spring, too. So... They have definitely helped with my weight loss that so many of you had asked about. We'll talk about that in a later video. Yep. But if you have really good, like, hearty soups that you like to make, I want to make them too. So yes. leave Share me a recipe us. down below. Share them with us, and everybody else will see them too. Yay! And then maybe we'll talk about them on Discord. Sounds great. Yeah. All right.
think that's it. Yep. Yeah. So thank you to uh, Royd X, R O Y D X, uh, for sponsoring this video and sending us this amazing cookware. Links down below. Yep. Down below uh, for all of this stuff. Yep. It is available on Amazon. So hit the links down there so they know that you saw this video if you want to order that. So, yeah. you know, yeah, that's how that works. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Uh, do, do some thumbnail poses. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the people want. <laughs> oh, oh, the old face. Oh, face. oh boy. Face. Wow. <laughs> okay, now do a normal one. There we go. That's beautiful. So much better than old That's faces. That's different than the other ones? Yes. Thanks, Tara. Welcome to our kitchen. You're a brat. <laughs>